What's up everybody? Welcome back to today's video. In this video I'm going to show you an awesome technique, something I have shown you before. And that is, we are going to create this swirly number 3. I've done the number 5 in the past. This number 5 is a little bit harder to create. I've made a YouTube video about it already. And now I'm going to show you how this number three is created. It's done a little bit easier. So let's dive right into the process. Okay, so I already have been doing some sketching on forehand. This is the number three. And we are going to create it with the pen tool in Illustrator. Click on the pen tool in the left toolbar. And we are going to drag the lines. If you click and drag, you can pull out the handles. And this way you can create like curves with the part. So I guess you're going to create the simple line. Click on the selection tool, select the part, double click on the stroke color and make it a black color. Okay, black I said. Press on OK. Then we click on the pen tool again. And we are going to drag the bottom part of the number three. We are going to create two separated parts because the effect will look better in the end when you apply it to two separated parts instead of one part. Okay. Click on the white direct selection tool and increase this handle a little bit. Okay, select this anchor point, zoom in a little bit with command plus, and we are going to drag it onto the other end of the stroke. We are going to adjust this a little bit. Okay, this way it flows nice into each other. Okay, so now we are going to create a blend. You can move this a little bit to the side so you can see the number three. Okay, so for the blend, we are going to create a rectangle and we are going to give it a black fill color. Hold and click on the form Tool and click on the line segment tool. We zoom in a little bit with command plus. We are going to drag a line over here. Drag the line with holding shift. This way you get a straight line. Double click on the fill color, on the stroke color. And we are going to give it a white color. Okay. We drag it up a little bit. So now we are going to create 11 copies out of it, so we have 12 lines in total. Select the path, the stroke, click on shift and option and drag it to the bottom. Press on command D for 10 times. Okay. So now we have 12 lines. Now we are going to fit them into the black square. Okay, select all the lines, click on this align tool, vertical distribute center. This creates the same amount of space in between the lines. Press on command G, this groups the lines. Click on the black square, click again on it. And now we are going to click vertical align center. This way all the lines will align with the middle of the black square. Now we are going to select everything again. Click with hold shift and deselect the black square. Press on command C to copy the lines. Press on command shift V. This duplicates the lines 
and then turn it with holding shift 90 degrees so now we have a pattern with white squares in the black square press on command J to group it command G I mean and we are going to turn this 45 degrees so now we are going to copy this pattern to the right side of it with holding shift and option this way it duplicates it and now we are going to make a blend in between those elements be sure to group those elements separately otherwise the blend will look pretty funny go to object go to blend go to blend option click on specified steps and make it thousand steps press on ok go to blend again and click on make and now it will create a blend in between those elements with thousand of the same elements in between them okay so we are going to duplicate this blend selecting it with the selection tool and then drag it to the bottom with holding option and shift and we are going to do this again and this one is just in case for if something doesn't work out well we still have the original blend to work with okay zoom out a little bit so now we want we want to select the top part of the number three select the blend go to object blend and replace with spine what this does is it replaces the blend with the part select this blend select the bottom part of the number three go to blend replace spine again okay this looks pretty nice as you can see okay let's see this looks quite the same okay so what we are going to do now we just want to bring this part to the bottom by selecting it and then press on command shift and open bracket and we want to inverse this spine so it goes the other way around go to object blend and reverse spine and as you can see now we have the same effect applied okay great so the lines and the path is still adjustable right now so for example if you want to adjust the stroke or the path click on it with the direct selection tool you can now drag the parts and the blend will apply to it okay maybe this one a little bit up okay, we want to make sure this is not touching this inner side of the number three this effect can be applied to any path you want and it creates a really neat effect so guys thank you very much for watching if you like this video please drop a like comment and follow the channel and i see you in my next video peace